Nick Jr. presents a Just For Me story. Dave the Brave Meets a Big Orange Monster by Dave Palmer. And narrated by me, Kathy Najimy. Dave was in a very big hurry. He hopped as quickly as he could. And when he reached the old tomato soup can, he bumped right into his friend Bertram. Dave, don't go past the very large fence, the bunny said. I saw something very big and very orange over there. I think it might be a monster. <laughs> a monster, laughed Dave. I love monsters. I'm going home to watch Scary Monster Theater with my dad. It starts in a few minutes. Anyway, going past the very large fence is the only way to get home. Bye. When Dave reached the very large fence, he heard some tweets. But it was no monster. It was his friend, Rhonda. Dave, don't go past the acorn field, she tweeted. There's something big and orange over there. And it's round, too, with big round eyes. Yikes, said Dave. But he still had to get home to his dad. So he said goodbye to Rhonda, and he hopped away down the road. When Dave got to the acorn field, he heard a whisper. Hello? The whisper said. But it wasn't a monster. It was Dave's friend, Graham. Psst, Dave, don't go past the tall green grass, said the groundhog. There's something over there that's big and orange and round with big round eyes. It has a tail, too, and it's flying. But I have to go that way to get home, said Dave. about what his friends had seen, and it sounded a lot like a real live monster. It was big and orange. It was round and had big round eyes. It had a long tail. It could even fly. But Dave had to go past the tall green grass because it was the only way to get home. Dave decided to just take a peek through the grass. And there, in the road, was the big orange monster. But then Dave thought about what he'd seen. And when he peeked through the tall grass again, he saw a big balloon. It wasn't a monster at all. It was a big orange balloon with a funny face drawn on it, and it had a long string tied to it. Hello, monster, said Dave. I think I'll call you Gerald. And then Dave happily ran home and told his dad all about his very monster-filled day. The end. Read Dave the Brave and other Just For Me stories at nickjr.com.